my name is Laura Carmichael, a research fellow with the Digital Health and Biomedical Engineering Group at the University of Southampton. In this brief presentation, I'll be giving an overview of work on developing a partially automated approach to privacy risk assessment for use of AI in healthcare. So, let's start with the challenge we're aiming to address. Ensuring high standards of stewardship and governance of AI in healthcare is vital. AI-based technology need to be safe, secure, right-suspecting, beneficial and endorsed by communities they intend to serve. Of course, the hope is that through increased use of trustworthy AI, there will be greater enhancements of public health and personalised care. Take, for instance, how AI-based technologies may help clinicians to diagnose patients more quickly or predict progression of disease. To do this, typically what's required is representative population data from multiple sources, including data from our health and social care records, as well as the data we may individually generate from our wearables and other monitoring devices. Yet, we also know that growing application of AI in health and social care also presents risks to individuals, communities and groups of people, and wider society. Against this backdrop, a key issue is how we can support organisations making decisions about sharing or providing access to sensitive data for AI-enabled health and social care services. In particular, how can privacy risk assessment methods and tools be used to support organisations in making these decisions consistently and transparently? So, let's now move on to our approach, which uses an automated risk assessment tool called SpiderRisk, providing a systematic cause and effect modelling of threats. The machine-readable knowledge base describes classes of system assets and their possible relationships, together with the associated threats, causes and effects. A risk analyst can model the target system in terms of related assets. The knowledge base is then used to identify which threats are relevant and create a cause and effect simulation of those threats. After the software has found the threats and computed the risk levels, the end user is then able to explore the threat graph and select control options. Just as an example, here's a screenshot from the Spider Assistant Modeler. As you can see, the model summary panel on the left allows the user to examine various aspects such as controls, adverse effects and their impact in threats. For further illustration, as part of previous work, a system model was created based on a real-world use case for a complex discharge project scenario involving cross-domain linkage of health and social care data. This project was about using advanced data analytics to model patient discharge risks and expected departure points from hospital to schedule and optimise the provision of ongoing community care services for patients being discharged. We've so far spoken about organisations, but what about individuals, such as those who may be generating personal data themselves? Therefore, as a final point, we need to consider how such tools and techniques can be used to offer meaningful support to them, such as their role in personal online data store ecosystems.